Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's reading on a crucial message for you to hear right now prior to making this final decision. So there's three groups today to choose from. We have Bloodstone and the Death card, Honey Calcite for group two, and the Ace of Wands for group three, this Dragon Blood Jasper and the Ace of Pentacles. So go ahead and select your pile using your intuition. The timestamps will be in the description box and I will see you in your reading. Okay, hi group one, those of you who picked this bloodstone and the death card, this is your reading on a crucial message you need to hear prior to you making this final decision. So, um, so this is, you know, about beginnings and endings, right? So um, that's what the death card is. Um, it's about an ending, but also about a beginning. Um, because that's sort of what comes after an ending. So here we have Lyran, Strength, Courage, and Bravery, the Page of Swords. And with this Bloodstone, I'm getting that, you know, it's it's a stone that's that's for strength and bravery, but it's also good for physical strength. Um, it's good for athletes. Um, it gives you energy. Um, and this is what I'm getting with uh, this reading here is having the courage to be open and adaptable um, and sort of moldable in a way. Um, be, and, and you know, that, that takes strength and that takes courage. And of course, it takes energy out of you to change, right? Because I'm getting that whatever this decision is that you're contemplating on, it's something that is going to elevate you. Um, you know, and I'm getting that with this Knight of Swords. I feel like it's going to elevate you mentally. Most definitely it's mentally. Um, you know, with the swords, it's a mental aspect. But I see this as a horse that's pretty much in the air. Um, you could see with birds right here. You could see them with um, these wings or I see it as like a helicopter and him being able to move so quickly that he's levitating or elevating and I keep saying levitating because I'm seeing this high um, this priestess this high priestess right here as well where there's an element of this situation I think that remains sort of hidden to you as I was laying out the cards I I was asking the question as I was shuffling I kept hearing like one day at a time and I feel like one day at a time like more and more is going to be revealed as to um, sort of like the treasures of what's what's ahead of you right it's like you're only being given a little bit at a time um, and it's one day at a time right um, so that you can make these changes little by little because really um, that's how you can adapt is little by little right um, and I'm getting this as something that is has something to do with um, when I say levitating and elevating, I'm getting it as like something that's definitely going to free your mind. Like, you know, when I saw this image, um, right when I put it down, this was the second card that I put down. You know, I saw these colors and it reminded me of the Ethiopian flag. And it made me think of colonization in Africa and how Ethiopia was the only place to not be colonized um, by Europeans. And it, you know, I just had this feeling of like um, fighting off the ways in which society, um, you know, it's like how our minds can be colonized, right? Like, so I'm thinking of like this mental colonization and, and being able to break free from that and and um the ways we've kind of been conditioned to think um you know mentally what i'm talking about when i talk about that i feel like things that are i'm, I'm getting like a, there's going to be a transformation um 
you know, you're getting a sign. This is supposed to be a sign. Um, there's going to be a transformation that has to do with the way in, in which you think, um, you know, um, so that it, your mind is no longer sort of colonized. And I don't mean that in an ins insulting way, but I mean it in the sense of here we have soul time, right? So the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal bottle body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So what I mean by our minds being colonized, it's like for so long, um, I think, I mean, I'm speaking for myself, but I know that I can speak to, about the, the general masses is that we've been sort of taught and conditioned to really look at time as something that's very linear, as looking as our lives as being just really, it's like a very 3D way of looking at things, right? Like, we are here, we are born, we live our life, we have one life, you know, um, and we, we're supposed to, you know, go to school, you know, follow this certain protocol, have kids, you know, and then retire. And like, you know, it's just so mapped out for us. And that's what I'm talking about, our minds being colonized, right? It's like, oh, you just follow the pattern, you do what everyone else is doing. And I feel like there's this transformation, this ending and new beginning, this elevation and levitation that I'm talking about has to do with living in a way that is more out there um, and, and that is refusing to accept like these mental um, conditioning that we've all been exposed to so that we can live in a way or that you can live in a way that is more timeless and limitless and infinite meaning that you know I'm, I'm gonna bring in the concept of reincarnation and having multiple lives um things not being linear um having a wealth of experiences of past lives that you can tap into at any given time that is going to help you adapt to whatever changes that um, you're going to be having to make and <clears throat> that you're going to be having, I'm starting to lose my voice, that you're going to be having to make um, for going forward that is going to help you on this unfolding path, right? Even even when I talk about the mental aspects, I'm, I'm talking about like being taught that we have to have a plan and a strategy. Um, for our lives and instead of like using our intuition like sometimes that sort of approach gets devalued like people will look at you like what are you doing that doesn't make any sense like how are you going you know you're going on a whim off on a whim so you know really this message is like I feel like there's something in your blood and in your Akashic records with soul time or um, something infinite like I'm seeing all these infinity symbols like wrapped together like there's so many like going this way and that way um, that it's like mm, you know and I'm seeing this camel like ancient Egypt right here I'm thinking which is another sign I keep getting that there's like signs all over for you um, to receive um, this message you know, I feel like your guides are really, really um, wanting you to change, wanting you to transform. Whatever choice that this is, it's like with this light field, it's like I feel like some you're being called towards the light, you know, to evolve towards the light, to change towards the light, to transform, to start anew towards the light. And towards the light, it's, it's like I say it's towards the light, but it's also... Um, I'm getting this motion of, like I said, elevating and levitating and rising. And, and I just see birds all over the place and I'm seeing feathers around me now. My hand is, is just like going right now, which is like receiving, you know, and I feel like whatever it is, it's like you're being called to um, receive. And this stone, you might be tired because like I said, this stone is good for energy it's good for athletes it's good for people who are pushing the limits um if you feel like you're being called to push the limits then yeah you are push the limits of of um the ways in which your mind has been colonized um the belief systems that we have 
about the universe that we're in, the life that we're living, um, what that is, um, and live out loud. Like, you know, with that I'm getting is like, be yourself, like be yourself, um, which means starting new, starting new. Um, and there's a really big mental aspect, like I said, to this reading, because here we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Page of Swords, which, you know, the Page of Swords is like about research and, and, and keeping an open mind. And, you know, I'm getting like, do your research. Um, this is giving me like Gaia, you know, um, the streaming service, you know, check out Gaia, G-A-I-A, -A, if you guys are not familiar. They have a lot of documentaries. It's very spiritual but it's very science-based okay um if if you guys aren't aware of um it definitely check it out this is what i'm talking about do your research and and um look into different things it's like still very sciencey um and accepted but it's 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 like metaphysical and all these it's kind of out there right but um but it's like this is what we're talking about um when I say opening up your mind um, to the ways in which, like, I don't know. It's like I just got cracking the code. Like, there's a code for you to be cracked here. And I'm seeing it, like, to me, this looks like hieroglyphics. I don't think that it is, but um, that's what I'm getting. And it looks like he's trying to, this looks like a math equation or some type of equation. It's like there's a mystery. There's some code for you to crack um that requires you know bravery strength courage um standing out um and you're gonna be given signs and i feel like with this light field i don't know you're also like i'm getting like like supported like i want to get su say supported because it's like here you are and then here are these birds that are right there with you. It's like there's always going to be um I want to say this light field energy that's like around you, right? Or like when I'm thinking the light field, I'm also thinking of like um anything that has gone into the light. And when I say gone into the light, like passed on, see? Ooh, this is another thing. Like passed on loved ones. Um you know, that have crossed over, um, those who are to come in the future, um, in the upper, like now this is like shaman stuff in the upper world or in the lower world, those who have gone before us, those who are just in spirit, um, at this time, you know, anything, anything that is in the light, like, I feel like these things are there w with you, you know, supporting you supporting you guiding you helping you and what i got when i just said that is like this is just another element of the infiniteness the timelessness the limitlessness of our souls you know um and what that is you know in terms of like you know energy cannot be created or destroyed like maybe our bodies will die but there's something about us that is limitless and timeless um and infinite so yeah so that's what i'm getting with your reading that this is the message that's crucial for you to hear um before you make this decision and i feel like this is a decision that's really going to change you um and i feel like i want to say it's going to take you back you know although it's moving you forward i feel like it's going to take you back to like who you really are like or maybe who you've been in a previous lifetime it's going to mature you with the number 40 um yeah 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 so while um there may be some not so good news um I, f I just touched on this card i just noticed it now i didn't even notice it throughout this whole reading there may be some not so good news um that you encounter um but sometimes you can look at this not so good news as the sign um, of the need to make these changes and adapt um, to this new start and this new beginning. So all the best of luck to you. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Um, share this video if you think it'll be helpful for someone else. 
I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Subscribe to see more videos as well. Take care. All the best. Bye. Okay, hi, group two. Those of you who picked this honey calcite, here's the crucial message that you need to hear prior to you making your final decision. So with your group, I'm getting a big creator vibe, um, creation vibe, creator vibe. Um, these three cards, as I was shuffling, just fell on the ground and they are from the same deck. It's the sacred creators deck. Um, so I'm getting that creation vibe from this card, these cards, these three right here. I'm getting it from this birth card, this plant that is sprouting out, birth. Um, this card right here, within nothing, there is everything, and it looking like a womb. Um, I'm seeing it in the crystal that is right in front, front of me, this amethyst with this, this space right here. Um, I'm also starting to get this feeling from these butterflies as well of just, you know, being trapped in something and then just them being released, um, you know, and just emerging. It says emerging, take the leap of faith. So, um, so yeah, so this is a very strong creation vibe that I'm getting. And so this message is going to be about that, but it's also about, um, consciousness as well. Like, so true nature, I know the eternal change me divine beloved into one who knows the true nature of our souls. Awaken me to the knowledge of the eternal. Let me know my true self as consciousness. So we see these two figures here. One is, you know, the 3D, the physical manifestation, and one is um, the consciousness, um, the spirit. Um, and you see it moving into the 3D. And I think this is what is the main crucial element of this reading is about creating from your consciousness, from your awareness you know, and, and really, I want to say knowing, knowing your true nature, right? Um, that your intentions, your desires, your wants are all being, um, pushed out into the universe and it's coming back to you as a manifestation, right? And so it looks like right now, um, there's a new beginning that is, you know, even this looks like, it looks like an egg to me, um, is hatching. It is an egg. Damn, it is an egg and it's hatching. Damn it. Yeah, that's what it is. No wonder why that's what it looks like to me. That's what it is. It's an egg hatching, right? And, um, you know, I see this person right here as you and there being all these different options and then, you know, just looking at it like, hmm, which one should I pick? And it's like, kind of like, you see the smoke here where it's like, very unclear which way to go and the way that i'm seeing this image um is and it's pretty clear like right here this option is where all the water is going to flow from right this is the path of least resistance this is the option that you are supposed to say yes to um the sacred flow of yes right and then it looks like a fish um that is swimming you know, with the tide or with the current, as opposed to going against it. And although it may appear that there are many options, I feel like that is deceiving to say that it is because there's only one that is um, in flow. That is, I guess, the path of least resistance, the one that is meant for you, the one that will grow, um, that has like, okay, now I just got this feeling of like DNA. So, you know, because with, within nothing, there is everything. That's this card right here. And, you know, I'm getting this feeling because I'm seeing the hole right here in this amethyst is like, you know, it may look like something has nothing in it. Whatever options you have, something may look like there's nothing in it, but it really could have the seeds of life, like the DNA for your success for what you're supposed to do, for what your desires and everything else that you want like to manifest from. Do you get what I mean? Um, because it has those seeds already planted in it, you know? But on the surface, in the 3D, it may look like it's an empty, it's empty. And so the message here is really about 
taking it says take a leap of faith but also removing the mask you could literally see a mask right here i don't know maybe you guys can't see it but there's a mask right here right as part of the smoke you know it's like the smoke and mirrors and this mask that's covering um or this illusion or delusion that there are options there are not options there's only one um and you know it's the it's the one thing that you want it's the one thing that you're des desiring um, it's the one thing that your soul really, really, really wants, you know, and I feel like your intuition and I, ugh, I'm just getting this thing. What does your soul say? What does your soul say? You know, I'm getting this thing of like, um, really asking yourself, um, you know, like tapping into, like meditating on these options, not picking it from a logical standpoint um, or looking at it with your physical eyes, but looking at it with your spiritual eyes, um, you know, and asking yourself with your third eye, this honey calcite, um, I think this is good for your third eye, with your third eye, you know, because looks can be deceiving. I just got that with these snakes right here, right? Um, especially at the very beginning of something where it looks like a hole, it looks like a void. You know, you don't know. It's like being given, an example is, let me burn some sage. An example is being given a bunch of seeds in your hands and having to plant them, you know? And you like, you just don't know. Like sometimes you get those, those, um, it's just random seeds like you just don't know what you're gonna get right um and i'm getting like even though something could look okay maybe the better example is like having a plant that's already partly grown and then having the seeds and and then wanting to go with the one that's grown even though the seed could yield a much better f fruit and it can maybe multiply and grow into something um into like a major garden like you know, and, and so you're not going to know, you're not going to know, but you, and here's the number two, the number of the high priestess. So again, this is about using your intuition and just tell yourself there aren't a lot of options. There is only one that you are being um, called to say yes to, one that is going to feel good to you. This is reminding me, like I had um, an interview uh, scheduled the other day and this job just came out of nowhere I mean you know anyways I'm not won't go into the details but I was just kind of stressing not for the interview itself like I didn't really care about the interview aspect but I just felt like mm, should I take this should I do this job should I not like you know it's close to home and blah 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 and I just didn't feel good about it and then I just ended up canceling it and then I was like oh the money's good but then I just canceled it um, and I just felt so much better after I'm like, yeah, um, that's not what I was supposed to do. And it just, it just really settled with me because I felt so uneasy about it. So sometimes it's like your feelings are going to make you feel very uneasy. Um, that may not always be the case, but you know, I felt inclined to tell you that, um, that, you know, the flow of yes, you know, and swimming with the current. And taking the leap of faith, like, it's supposed to feel good to you. You're supposed to feel at peace with it, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. Even even in the face of, it's reminding me, I literally have a tattoo. Um, and it's reminding me of this. I'm going to show you guys my tattoo. Um, don't mind my arm. I broke out in an allergic reaction. Ugh, I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's right here. For we walk by faith not by sight so it's that type of energy okay so this is what taking the leap of faith really means right um and what i was referring to with thinking you have all these options but really there is one and then sometimes you know to your physical eye or your to your mind it looks like no that that looks like the worst option like in the physical like it literally looks like there's nothing there. It looks like a void. Um, but it's like, what is your soul telling you? What is your intuition telling you? What is your third eye telling you? Um, you know, because there's a part of you that knows the path already and knows um, 
when something is for you or something is going to grow into or something may have the DNA or the seed that you are looking for, right? So just believe in yourself as consciousness, as having the ability to set your int intentions and put them out to the universe and that the universe will deliver. It's like a promise, you know, um, that when you take a leap of faith um, and really tune into your intuition and the more you do it, the more you're going to feel secure in doing it. And maybe you have to start small, um, but the more and more you do it, the more you'll have faith in it, you know. Um, so yeah, so yeah, and it's going to feel easy. It's going to feel good. It's going to just put you at ease. Even if, um, oof, sorry, that almost fell. Um, yeah, so, so that's, so that's your message. So, so just, you know, take that into account and to consideration when making this final decision, right? Um, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Um, you know, that's just how it is. Um, because, you know, we don't know what is going on behind the scenes, but, but, um, but when you really start to tap in right now, I'm getting, you know, our different senses of awareness, you know, the different um, consciousnesses that we have as well. So like there's like the dream state, there is the meditative state, there's like, I don't know, I don't know what they are called, right, scientifically, like the beta, theta, all that, all that stuff. Um, but sometimes we can get um, answers in altered states. I'm not necessarily saying like, you know, drug induced, but, um, you know, meditative states and things like that. So maybe that's an option for you, um, um, that can help you make your decision and, you know, go, go by what brings you peace, you know, what makes you feel at peace. Um, but yeah, so, so that is your reading group too. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, let me know how it resonated. Share this video with someone you think, um, if you think they may need it or can benefit from it. And uh, subscribe to see more videos. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye. Hi, group three. Those of you who picked this dragon blood jasper and the ace of pentacles this is a crucial message that you need to hear before making your final decision so um there's an element that really stands out um right away um in this reading and then there's an element that i feel very unclear about so you know which i i believe is is your energy so like let me get into what i'm talking about here um, so the crucial thing for you to look at, um, and I feel like it's definitely look at, um, is like, okay. So with the, with the Jasper, the dragon blood Jasper, it's a stone for, um, like it's like a stone of like practicality, but also like, um, integrity like t integrity and practicality so i'm seeing it as you know when people say living in integrity like i'm seeing it as an integration right of your your beliefs your actions um and the things you say right so you know this is something to look into um is because here we have authenticity right and a mask and we have gates and we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So what I'm getting with this authenticity card is um, is like really looking at what your beliefs are, the things that you've said, what you know, and are your actions in alignment with with that? You know, are you being yourself? Are you, you know? And I okay because I'm getting this, you know, this unclear energy is what I'm getting is like that this situation that you're making a decision on is a lot more complicated and, and it's not like a straightforward answer type of thing. There's di different vari varying factors or thoughts. So it's almost like, um, you know, you know, in, in, in business, they talk about there's different stakeholders, right? And each stakeholder has their own priorities and their own things that are really important. I feel like this is like a similar thing with you where there's v different um, beliefs that are coming into conflict with one another, you know, and uh, yeah, like there's there's something that's 
coming into conflict you know because it's like you can have an idea and a belief about something but when it translates into the real life and up and into the practical realm it's like well what are you going to do now you know this conflicts with that and this conflicts with that like how are you going to weigh it out how are you going to balance it out um and so i feel like um there's something you know and this is what i'm getting with the gates is like there's there's something about like not being very clear right on on what the decision is um and because of these opposing factors these opposing conflicting things um and it's like with gates it's like do i do i is it this gate or is it this gate or do i go down this gate and it all boils back down to your i want to say your authenticity but it's like integrity right it's like what have you said in the past you know what have um what are your beliefs like can you honor those things um or is it something this says if you believe but it's like well what do you believe you know um i feel like it's time to evaluate it's really time to evaluate yourself um and oh i just had a thought and this says hero heroine so um passion for a journey of personal empowerment escapism and a false sense of heroism so you know it's in reverse i'm getting like you don't have to be perfect okay this is another thing you don't have to be a perfect you don't have to be a hero you don't have to be any of these sorts of things the thought that came to me was you know i was having a conversation with um a, a, a somebody and i was sharing them with them like an issue that i was i was struggling with and um you know this person a little bit called me out on something um which was perfectly fine and i realized you know okay so the situation was where i was doing something for somebody right and i felt like mm, you know this person didn't you know pay me back or um you know and it was like anyways it was a whole situation right and you know this person said to me well you know usually when you you give you're not supposed to um you know you're not supposed to expect something in return so to speak you're not supposed to bring it up and say hey i did this for you which i didn't do that with the person but i was just pointing out the fact that like you know i i went out of my way i went out on a limb and um and i kind of like i really did something for them that i really couldn't afford to do you know and so there was a part of me that did have an expectation and so he said you know usually when you do something for somebody you you don't you have to just let it go you have to expect the worst you have to expect that they won't pay you back and you know you, you it's not really it's kind of like pointed out a thing of my character and i always thought like oh i'm such a nice person and like the more that i thought about it i'm like okay you know what Maybe I'm not a nice person. Maybe I'm not that nice of a person, you know, um, and I'm OK with that. I don't have to be a nice person. I don't have to go out on a limb because I'm going to have a problem with that later on, you know, if push comes to shove. Um, so now I'm aware of that. You don't have to be perfect. I feel like maybe there are some ideas or some beliefs that you have that um, aren't aren't like I don't want to say aren't true. I do want to say it because that's what wanted to come out, but that's not the right word of putting it, are outdated. They're outdated. It's an outdated version of you. You know how kids, young kids are taught, oh, you're supposed to be nice to each other. You're supposed to share. You're supposed to give, da, da, da. Okay, as we get older, as we go through life, as we become more experienced, there's certain things that are going to make us resentful. Like if you're over giving, um, like why are you doing that? Is that even you? Do you want to be considered like this type of person? So when you make... That's what I'm talking about with integrity, like being integrated, right? Like, because I don't know, I feel like there's this thing of like, 
it says nurture yourself and others so this has to do with like i feel like this may have something to do with other people like here we have the empress lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others and then here we have lockjaw a good guard dog is hard to find right so there's like this element of like there's being like com like when i said stakeholders like conflicting people in a scenario right um or conflicting um perspectives right and so that's what makes it hard to to decide or how hard to um, take a look at it and, and I'm getting more confirmation of that with there being different species here and then thinking of like okay this may be good for this species this may not be good like that sort of thing so I'm getting like like maybe now you're at a place where you need to nurture yourself more you know um that's the time that's the season that you're in you know that's the cycle um, because you're at a place where you have to, I don't know, maybe give birth to your own dreams, do, do something for yourself, right? That is more authentic and in alignment with what you are. But like, there's some ideas or some things that maybe you have to discard of. Um, and so anyways, this is, this is sort of like the message here is like, um, having to be like practical, um, in your, like, how do your beliefs translate into the practical, practical earthly realm, right? Like, you know, you can say, oh, I am a generous person. I am this. I am, I am that. I take care of others. This is just an example. But, you know, when push comes to sub, shove, do you really want to do that? Like, you may not want to actually do that. Um, and that's okay. You don't have to be a hero. You don't have to be a heroine. Um, you don't have to, like pretend to be either like this isn't about being like perfect I feel like um but there is going to be conflicting things like it's like as we get older our, our beliefs become harder to be in the black and white you know or harder to live up to these like certain ideals that when we were children um it was easier to just go with it because life is pretty simple when you're a child or when you're young right like you know what I mean? So I hope I hope you guys are getting what this this message is, is about is like really um, examining yourself and being integrated. Right. And just looking at all aspects, like the things that you say, the things that you believe and the things that you do, like practically and how that translates um, and. And like. If it's time for you to discard of some of your ideas and your beliefs it's like, I feel like there's something that needs to be discarded. Um, it's this hero, heroine, this, a good guard dog is hard to find. Maybe it has to do with loyalty. It has to do with um, something of like prioritizing others. Like, because again, I gave the example of like me, I, I, I used to be over giving and over helpful. Um, and it, it's just, like, no, I don't, I'm not like that anymore. And I don't believe that I'm a nice person or that I have to be a nice person. Like I'm kind. Okay. I'm a kind person, but I, I won't say that I'm a nice person anymore. Um, definitely not. You know, there's nicer people out there in the world. Um, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, so because this is what I'm talking about on this end is being unclear about like these varying um conflicting scenarios like that come about in the physical realm in 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 practicality and experience that make you have to question your own beliefs right like if if that's really who you want to be um so yeah so this is this is what you know was essential for you to hear right now before making this decision is like there's something like coming in into wanting to manifest and I'm looking at the moons right now it's like wanting to manifest it's time for something so certain time has run out on on something there's an ending of something of letting go of like all these multiple other people like these stakeholders it's like you're you're running a business with all these various stakeholders you know but it's like you know you could be you're, you're you could see yourself as your own business where you only have to look out for your own um like not look out for your own self like I don't mean it like that but you 
Yeah, but I kind of do mean it like that in a way. It just doesn't sound right. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Some of the shit is not going to sound good. Um, but it's like the truth, right? Like, and I mean, it's it's kind of the truth is like, I'm seeing your, you as like, I'm, I don't know why I keep thinking about corporations, like where there's various stakeholders and then your own personal life where like you are the main character of your own life kind of thing right where you have to take care of yourself right like nobody you can't expect other people to put you first so why are you putting other people first like that sort of energy you know like take it how it resonates though and so so like there's a sense of like needing to empower yourself and being loyal to yourself um and because there's something that is really really important for you to um you know there's like an opportunity coming up for you to like give birth to something to create something um you know something some new beginning you know that has to do with um that has to do with like something manifesting okay um something it's like something like physical like whether it's money whether it's it's something that's gonna grow something that's gonna grow um that's gonna be prosperous for you and so some of these ideas or these beliefs or or like it's like you just really have to let go of of some of this this stuff and so whatever decision you're making i feel like you know maybe you don't have to consider everyone's like all the different various stakeholders like i mean literally um i know that you can be a very nurturing and loving person but um you know you don't have to be a hero like there's sometimes where you have to empower yourself and and it's not really about others because others will always um you know usually empower their own selves and there's nothing wrong with um you know stating these things and evolving our beliefs and uh and yeah yeah and and sometimes people don't even appreciate stuff either that's another factor i don't know why i keep saying these things but yeah that's what it is i'm gonna have to hit this because there's something like that I'm not liking about um, the energy of like, I don't know, I feel like this has to do with other people too. Like something about their energy that I'm picking up on that I don't even like. Um, yeah. And meanwhile, here you are considering, considering them and considering their, you know, um, their, their stakes and whatever it is, you know. Or, or their perspective and I'm not saying that you have to be cutthroat but um but like even with this guard dog I mean it's you know you could be loyal and, and all these things but you can also be a beast and ferocious at the same time right like um it isn't it isn't just one way so just you know take a look at um at yourself and and what your beliefs are and what your actions are and how those and how those things translate into the practical realm and if it's even relevant for you at this day and age um because there's some new beginning that's coming in for you and it's requiring you to empower yourself and i could see you even just climbing this mountain um and needing your own strength to do so and so sometimes it's too much weight for you to carry i'm seeing this like they're all they're both carrying backpacks right like it's too much weight for you to carry is like other people's stakes other people's interests other people's you know stuff right like it's you gotta let go of some of it right um and uh when i hear lockjaw it's like and then hold on and cling on to whatever new or start or beginning is is for you and just know that like whatever qualities that we are talking about when i say authenticity and having integrity is like there's going to be a positive to it and there's going to be a negative to it so you can be a nice person but that is going to cost you um that's going to cost you right everything comes with an expense and um you know it in and you don't always have to be the same person throughout your whole life like there's you know there's an ebb and flow to this as well so you know just the same way that i saw when i first laid this card out it was upside down and so it looked like it um sometimes you may want to um how do i say this like sometimes it's like the the sand is running this way but sometimes you want to reverse it and let it run out this way like I don't know, you know, like that's that's the feeling that I'm getting is like sometimes you want to look at it this way and then other times you want to look at it this way. Like, I don't know. Right. So it just depends on um, 
depends on you and, and the circumstance. Sometimes things don't even have to be set in stone. So, so yeah, it is what it is. Good luck, guys. All the best with your decision that you have. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. Share this video with someone if you think that they would enjoy it. Leave a comment. Let me know how it resonated. And subscribe to see more videos. Bye, guys. Take care.